Hey there everyone! As I was leveling up my characters, I ran into this guy. As you can see, it's a demon type thing. Yeah. Weak against light attacks, obviously. Also, he hurts a lot, as you will see. Hopefully I don't die on this. But it's very likely that I will die, because I don't have a lot of damage in this party. I can just hope to paralyze him. Also, my Raymond has a new needle attack. It has high attack power. Let's see it in action. Oh god. Oh, I am so screwed. Maybe not. Thank you, Satori. Okay, this makes the battle a lot easier. If I did not get that paralysis off, I would have been dead. Go, Yamu. Um, shoot it in the face with fire. Just need to take one of them out first. Oh right, needle. This needle attack has a one turn cooldown. Okay, I don't need that. I just want a single target. Yeah, that's right, Yomu. Take them out. Yeah. Oh god, I think I might be able to do this. Twenty-three damage. Really? You're pathetic, Satori. Oh well, they're still paralyzed, it's all good. For five turns. <laughs> oh, I should not have a problem then. Well, I guess I'll just skip right to the boss and I'm not going to show the rest of this. This will take too long. Hey there everyone, this is Chef MKT. Welcome back. Well, I said I was going to grind to level 30. I couldn't be asked. So everyone's around level 28, 29. Let me say, but not quite. Anyway, I picked up a couple of items as I was grinding. If I could find them, that'd be great. Yeah, here's one of them. This was the shield that was dropped from the hard disk drives that I talked about before. As you can see, it's a medium shield, 90 physical defense, 50 magical defense, 30% chance of activation, protects against all elements in the game. And, duh, duh, duh. and then I found... This thing, I got this from the Moon Magician guys, I think this is a Merlin Wand or something. As you can see, it has fairly high magic attack power compared to the other wands, but still, that's negligible. And as you can see, it I do believe that's a 3% chance of MP absorption when you attack. And I do believe that's just on a normal attack, so that's kind of useless. But it's there. And then I found this spear. 75 attack, 33% chance of attacking twice, I believe. And I found this from the Dragon Maids. And then I found this crafting item from that demon guy that you saw at the start of the video. And then I picked up this shield, which was from the eggplant things that I talked about before getting as well. English very well today. So I, I meant, I was supposed to say that I found this shield before in my first run when I stuffed up the first recording. Right. That's better. 72 physical defense, 58 magic defense, 20% chance of activation, protects against every single element and weapon type in the game. <sighs> okay, well that's sorted out. Now, it took me, I don't know, a couple hours to figure out the best strategy for this boss. Mostly because there is a move that you can learn for Satori, and that is heal. And if you want to get Satori to learn heal, you need to bring along Biaka in as well. I will get to that in a second. So, first things first, since I picked up that sunflower seed, I will now um, craft this Biakran scroll. As you can see here, it gives you 25 induction, which is absolutely great. And then also has a... Th I think it decreases magic attacks by 30%, and something about 15%. Hang on, give me a second while I go try to translate this. Yep. Decreases magic attacks by 30%, decreases physical attacks by 15%, so that is a nice thing to have. Let's buy it. Now the other thing I like to correct myself with is that the gun that I equipped with Natori, I was actually using this gun, which is the second tier. And this is the third tier gun. Um, as you can see, it's basically the same as the second tier gun, except it has more attack power, so... 
If you happen to have spare sunflower seeds, you can go ahead and craft the third tier gun, but it's not really necessary, and quite frankly, I suggest you not craft the third tier weapon just yet, because you will, if, I, if I'm correct, you will, um, oh, get back in there, sorry, you will have access to the next tier weapons when you defeat the stage 10 boss, so might as well save your materials for that. Now there is one more thing I would like to craft. Where is it? Uh, it's an accessory. Is it this thing? No, that's sleep. Sorry, that's my IRC connecting again. Um, yeah, it's this thing. This gives you immunity to paralysis. And I can't craft that, can I? Oh no! <laughs> well, that ruins that plan. Um, okay. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. I, you can make do without the paralysis protection, because you already have one. It'd be nice to have two, though. <coughs> so let's equip that scroll. So we have that. Okay, okay, rewind. Satori. Now, I put this knife on her, so she has more HP and MP to play with, because HP is pretty low. She, and basically, she will not be doing anything in this fight. She's a dead weight, essentially. So you might as well equip her with defensive accessories and stuff, as you can see. Plus all pot, plus 10 magic defense, plus 10 physical defense, and a shield of some kind. I'm sorry, this is like 9 o'clock in the morning for me, I should not be doing this. Alice, doesn't really matter what weapon she uses, I just put anything on her. Just as long as that she has a good shield. And in this case, this is the shield I craft at Reno Suitcase, Reno Suitcase shop, as you can see. It's a nice shield to have. And nice armor, 20 physical defense, 20 status resistance, and 20 magic defense. Now, Notori, as I said before, I correct myself, this is her second tier gun, not her third tier gun. And thunder armor, because why not? 20 physical attack, 10 physical attack, and resistance to paralysis. Oops, yeah. Biakrin has her third tier scroll now. And now, do note, this is the armor of darkness that I found in stage 10. It is a good idea to put this on Biakarin, because she really needs the defense boost in this fight. Now you have 30 induction, plus 15 induction, and 30 speed. She needs to have that speed, because she needs to go first. Well, not first, she needs to not go last. That's the most important thing. Now with Marissa, I've done a little something different. As you can see here, I'm using the um, wand that I got from the Kraken Magician that increases magic attacks by 20%. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. Just use um, another wand, maybe the one that decreases MP consumption by 10%. That's a good choice. It doesn't really matter, because this fight is about endurance after all. You'll see what I mean later. 10 magic attack power, 20 magic attack power. Third slot, I'm probably going to put in this. I forgot where I picked this up, but it increases my magic attack power by a further 10%. Rather, magic elemental attacks by 10%, sorry. Now, Yomu is my commander in this party, so she doesn't need anything. Right, let's go to stage 10 where I will explain the, the setup for this fight. Now, the reason why I'm using Satori is, as I said before, I want to learn heal from the boss. And in order to do that, she needs to obviously be in the party. If you're not planning to use Satori, that's fine. You don't actually need heal on Satori, but I'm going to do it just for those people that actually want to use Satori. And, well, having Satori in your party in this fight is a bit more difficult because you have a character that is now useless in the fight. However, I will now go through my setup. So, I went through my equipment, skill trees. Now, you want to max this, max this skill tree out to double your chances of learning skills. Now, in this fight, heal is a 50% base learning chance to actually learn the skill for Satori, so if you max it out, it is a 100% chance to learn heal, which is what you want. Now, and then I invest into a debuff skill tree, just in case I need to debuff. But, probably not gonna happen, but it's there anyway. Alice, max out this skill tree, shove all of your points into this skill tree. Very simple. Same as always. Notori, now, 
This is where it gets a little bit different. You will not be using her chaser skills whatsoever. You don't need those. Now, next. Yep, 16 points to there, so that's fine. Now, so I have 5 points here. Now, what you want is that MP bonus there, because this is a long fight, you want as much MP as possible on your Notori. Next, 5 points into here gives you 20, 20 HP regen per turn, which is great. It saves, because you don't actually have a dedicated healer in this fight, so you're going to have to make do with what you have. And then the rest of the points, I guess I can shove into here. That gives me the plus 20 attack power, which is just perfect. Now I have one point left, I'm just going to put it into strength for more attack power. Because why the hell not? Okay, that's all good. The Akron. 20 points into here to um, get the maximum efficiency out of your buffs. And then rewinds. Give me that. You know what? No, no, no. Let's decrease it because you really want to you really want to get your um, induction as high as possible in this fight. So yeah. So max this skill tree first, then concentrate on your buffing skill tree. That sounds good. Marissa. Now, as you see here, I did something completely different with my Marissa this time. I am not going to be using her elemental attacks. I'll be concentrating on your magic elemental attacks. So as you can see here, the most important thing in this skill tree, you need 13 points into your skill tree, as you can see here. Now what this does, it will give you slayer effects on magic, magic elemental attacks. Right? This is really important because it has slayer effects against magician types and warrior types, which is basically what Notori has on a gun. And then you invest the rest of your points into your um, spark skill tree here. And as you can see, I've got 16 points. You don't really need any more than that because hopefully the battle will not last that long. The rest of the points can go into whatever you want. So I've got two points into here to get uh, plus five magic attack. One into here to get plus five magic attack, and then rest of the points into int. Yomu. Now you want to spread out your points on this one because you want as many bombs as possible. So let's see what we got. That gives me plus one bomb. Um, this gives me plus four bombs. That's a lot of bombs, actually. And then five points into here to get another bomb. And then you're pretty much done. Okay, that looks good. Now, formation. You want to use this formation here. Why? Because it gives you defense up. And, well, that's the main thing. You want defense up. But the other important thing is that it's also in a line. So Alice's um, Peril ability is very useful for this formation and that is exactly what you want because you have no healers so you're going to try to reduce all the damage you can possibly do blah, 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 blah. reduce as much damage as possible that is inflicted on your party sorry this is still way too early in the morning so I think that looks good in fact wait um, Marissa you can go to the top okay that's better god damn it IRC give me one second Okay. Oh, okay. Now, I need to heal up first. Now, there's one more thing I need to go through, and that's skills. 